Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am excited to be bringing you guys another styling video. Today we are gonna be talking all about tailored pants, trousers. I feel like these have been the hottest trend that's been happening lately. And so I really wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite trousers and my favorite tailored pants, and then also give you guys some ideas on how to style them. If you are new to my channel, I will have everything linked in a blog post that you can find pinned in the comments and also in the description box. If there's anything that you're interested in, not just the pants, but anything from the entire look, all of that stuff will be linked in the blog post. So be sure to check that out. Out. I am five foot two just for reference if that helps you with sizing but we're gonna go ahead and get started with this first look if you are new to my channel I am so obsessed with the Abercrombie tailored pants I have six or seven pairs of them that I'm gonna be showing you guys in different styles different colors and hopefully that will give you some inspiration on which pair to add to your wardrobe if you don't have a pair yet or if you want to add something a little bit different hopefully this video will give you some ideas these are the Sloan tailored pant and these are like right between a straight leg and a wide leg pant i've actually tried the ultra wide leg tailored pant from abercrombie and i didn't like the fit of it nearly as much as the sloan so if you have a figure like mine and you're wondering should i go with the full wide leg or should i go with the sloan i would really recommend going with the sloan pant i think they just fit really really nicely all the way around i got mine in short and that's one thing that i love about abercrombie is that they carry their pants in short and in tall these ones are in the premium crepe material i have a couple other pairs that are not in this material but i love this specific material because it's a really good weight for spring and summer and then also it doesn't wrinkle nearly as much as some of the other fabrics so this is a really flowy material i think it looks really good in the sloan because there is a little bit more fabric in the legs it just flows really really nicely i've got it paired with one of my new tops from madewell this is a one shouldered sweater top and i really love adding some sort of like fitted statement piece to the tailored pants i feel like when you're wearing more flowy loose or bottoms I like to pair it with something a little bit more fitted on top this is not a rule but I think it's really flattering if you choose to go that route and then to match my top I've got on some sandals from Madewell these are a heeled sandal and I love the thin strappiness of these shoes and then for my bag I've got on my Gucci chain wallet which I just love this print I feel like it works really really well with any type of neutral fit so this is the first look for this next look I've got on a different pair of Abercrombie tailored pants these are the relaxed straight pant i have these in a few different colors but this is the newest color to my wardrobe the sage green i believe right now they have nine different colors and these are some of my favorite tailored pants from abercrombie i love the fit of these because i am a little bit more petite sometimes if i'm wearing a wide leg pant or the sloan pant i have to be a little bit more selective with my tops whereas with the straight pant i feel like i can wear more baggy tops or just play around with them a little bit more being so short Short, I feel like having something that's a little bit more fitted is sometimes nice but I've got these on with a crochet top from Revolve and I just love this top for spring and summer I have worn this with denim shorts jeans tailored pants I feel like it's just such a good versatile piece and then I have on this little straw bag from Lulu's and some white heels from Madewell these I got in a 24 short as well and I feel like the fit of these is just so so good I have three pairs of these like I said and they're some of my favorites okay so I feel like cargos also have like come on to the scene as far as like trends go and I've seen them everywhere what's fun about these is that these are a tailored pant with like cargo pockets so you're kind of getting the best of both worlds these ones are from Abercrombie as well I've just really been loving the way that their pants have been fitting me so I got these again 24 short and I just love the cargo style with the white tee, white sneakers, belt bag. I feel like it's a really casual look. And I love with tailored pants, you can really, really dress them down, which is so fun. You can make them more edgy, you can make them more casual, or you can dress them up and wear them to like a corporate event. So I think that's what's so fun about this trend right now is it can kind of go either way. And there's a lot of different things that you can do with a tailored pant. So for this next look, I've got on a little bit more of an edgy style for the tailored pants. These are the Sloan 
own pants again. So these are the same pants as the first outfit that I showed you guys in the crepe material. These are just like the classic black Sloan pants. And I just love the fit of these because I feel like they just hug the waist a little bit better than the ultra wide pants. I've tried both, like I said earlier, and I felt with the ultra wide pants, they just didn't like fit in the booty and the waist the way that I was really hoping that they would. So the Sloan is 100% the way that I would go, but this is how I've got them styled. So I wore these all winter. I just loved wearing these pants with sweaters, with tank tops, and I dressed them up with like button ups, but I really love the way that they look with a leather jacket as well. So obviously for the summer, you're probably not gonna wanna wear a leather jacket, but I think for spring right now, it's like the perfect transitional outfit. So I've got on a Skims tank, which looks so cute with the tailored pants without the jacket. But if you are in an area where you want a jacket for like the evening or you're going inside and you wanna have a jacket, I think a leather jacket over the black pants looks so, so chic. So I've got on this jacket from Madewell and then my my little Madewell shoulder bag and again my Everlane quartz sneakers that I basically wear with all of my outfits but I feel like this is a very cool girl style and again you can always ditch the jacket and just wear a really casual tank with these trousers. This next look is probably the most dressy of all of my outfits only because I don't work in an office so I don't have like a ton of office wear but I feel like this is an outfit that you could easily wear into the office or to some kind of like meeting, event, anything like that. So I've got on the straight pant again. And like I said, I have these in three colors, this color, the sage green, and then I also have them in a khaki. And these are just some of my favorite pants. I've said that before, I'll say it again. They just fit so, so well. I love these ones too, because they do have a fun little twist on the tailored pant. They've got this like asymmetrical, button here and then they've got the same kind of straight leg fit which is just so good i've got them on with my madewell heels again if you're going to wear them into the office you could probably switch out the shoes for something a little bit more appropriate however i don't really have a ton of closed toed heels but i've also got on a white button up top from everlane and my ysl cassandra bag this could again be switched out for a work tote or something like that so this is an outfit that i would probably wear even though i don't go into an office i would wear this to a meeting or to a brand event i just feel like it's very classic it's very professional and i just I love these pants. They're so comfortable and they look so nice. So this next outfit is probably my favorite way to wear a tailored pant. It's with a sweatshirt and sneakers. It's probably like the most worn way that I do wear these. And again, I have on my Everlane Court sneakers. Of course, these are the relaxed straight pant. So my final pair of these that I have. And I've got on this Anine Bing sweatshirt that I have worn the heck out of since I got it. It's like the most comfortable, worn in looking sweatshirt. And then I've also got on my Lululemon belt bag in the large version. So if you're familiar with the original belt bag, it's the same kind of concept, except it's double the size. So I got it in white opal and I love it for the spring and summer. It's been like my go-to bag recently. And then I've got on a canvas hat from Madewell. And this is just such a cute casual outfit. I just really, really love dressing down trousers. I feel like it's like the best way to wear them. For this next look, I've got on the Sloan tailored pants yet again, this time in the brown crepe material, which again is a really, really good material for spring and summer. They're just so flowy, really good movement. I've decided to pair these chocolate brown pants with kind of all white accessories. So I've got on white shoes, a white bag, and then a kind of creamy white sweater. I feel like adding these really light pieces to a chocolate brown pant just brings it into the spring and summer. If you're like me and you bought a lot of your tailored pants kind of when they got big around fall or I guess late summer of last year, then you'll want to wear them into the spring and summer. And so this is a really great way to do that by just adding a bunch of light accessories. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing all of my favorite tailored pants. If you're obsessed with tailored pants like I am, please be sure to leave me a comment. Give this video a thumbs up. Like I said, everything will be linked in the blog post that you can find pinned in the comments and also in the description box. If you found this video helpful though, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys. Bye.